So a lot of you ask me this question, do you always underpaint with blue or can that change? And the answer is it can absolutely change. So in this version, I'm going to do a blue underpainting on the left and on the right side, I'm going to do a red underpainting. I'm using pretty much the same strategies. I'm going to use a red and fade it into an orange. And on the left side, it's sort of a blue faded into a purple, uh, pretty much the same strategy. What happens here is that the underpainting gives the whole piece a tone a sort of feel or a vibe, you might say. So when I use a red underpainting, I get a obviously warmer tone. And this might be great for something like a fall painting or a sunset, something that's more warm in tone than the blue underpainting on the left. In the end, choosing a color for an underpainting is just that, a choice. And you can use that choice to affect your final painting. Comment your thoughts below and subscribe for more watercolor.